You guys have grinders. Do you think Burger King grinds theirs? I'm Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, they I use mean, 100% beef. There are no yep. filler. I'm grinding my beef. Hey. What are you doing over there? Oh, there you are. I didn't see you, Reggie. I am grinding some meat over here to make my burgers. The most important thing for me while replicating this Burger King Whopper is this perfectly ground meat. I'm going to get the patty thin, and I'm going to make sure it's kissed by the fire on this stove. Well, I'm going to do it the real way. Uh, I've got some eye around, some chuck and I put some brisket in there that's gonna give it some flavor. Ooh. Does Burger King taste like all that, though? Absolutely does. He's giving them does. a lot of credit on that meat. I, I, I know. <laughs> all right, so my plan with the uh, Burger King Whopper, I'm gonna take ground meat. Organic! I'm gonna make the little patties and just call it a day. Quite frankly, today, I didn't want to sweat. <laughs> this is great 85% ground beef. Burger King's not grinding up their chuck and everything. I see. OK, 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 OK. So Reggie, I'm doing like a kind of in between the both of these uh, these guys. I feel like when you have a burger from Burger King, it's really juicy. And the only way to get that juiciness is fat. Now I'm doing a little bit of fresh ground brisket into my uh, ground beef. Just okay. to kind of give it a little bit more texture. Interesting. You want to come on back and help me patty up these burgers? Whoa, that's crazy. I think I will. <laughs> Hamburger helper. I like am hamburger helper. What's going on? <laughs> Help me. Okay. Sorry. So after reading the menu of Burger King, yes. I realized that it's a quarter pounder, right? Oh. So 16 ounces divided by four is. Oh. What? How do we get to 4.6? Well, you know, it's a little off axis. Oh, it is. Whoa. Oh. Just throwing okay. it, flipping it, throwing it. Reg helped me ball the meat. We actually made a beat while smashing these patties to get those air bubbles out. I'll toss the meat, you drop a beat. So Reggie was, you know, a great beatboxer. <laughs> Reggie is gonna have a little bit of a sidekick in me. So Reggie, you're a beatboxer. Yes, I'm a boxer of beats. Can you teach me? Okay, if I'm doing a drum beat that I want to have a bass line, you close your lips every time you do it. So Ready? Ready? But that's pretty good. It's kind of like, hey. <laughs> I think the key is spit, spitting. How that? Did I do good? So the Burger King ones aren't like super charred, right? Flatten it as much as you like the thin burger. You oh, know I, love, like, I love it. I love thin burger. Give me a little butter over here. Oh, sh oh, there's the flame. You see that red? Oh, you're getting that flame? Hey! Nobody else has really gotten their griddles hot. Kristen and Justin both have theirs kind of on low. I'm cranking mine. Because what's going to happen is, if I really want to get that char grilled experience, you've got to crank it and hit the sides with a little bit of butter so it creates that kind of wrapping flame effect. Smells like Burger King, yeah! Ow, that's hot. Here, Reggie, why don't you try something like oh, this? Oh, no, Dad, I've always wanted to use one of those. Okay. So this is basically this, uh -huh. but you're able to cover more burgers. OK, all so right. Be careful of your arms. Oh, my god. Like, my god. get in there. All right. There uh, you go. Gotcha. Look at the flames. <laughs> Smell the Burger King. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you need, like, a heat, like a heat shield. All right. <laughs>